what is up everyone today's video will be consisting of an underrated module or an underrated program that some technicians or some providers do not know about when you install PBX and a flash and one of the biggest modules that helps me out a lot especially with, spe with special sorry, special builds is Webman when you install the PBX in a flash, it automatically installed this program called Webman, along with a few other things. Now, what this Webman do is that it gives you administrative rights with a web-based GUI about your system. You can make many changes to your system, including the IP address and also hard drive mapping from Webman. So it gives the, the person who's installing the server an, an act a, a web GUI access and easier access to get things done on the PBX and the Flash server. Uh, for this build here, uh, it automatically installed and is accessed with the IP address and colon 9001. That is a standard under the PBX and the Flash module, but of course you can always change the IP address. Uh, whatever IP address and port that you require or you that you request access from, but by default it does 9001. Once you type that in and log in with your root credentials, you will see on the left hand side a lot of modules and a lot of changes that that you can do to the actual server itself. And one of these modules I'm looking at here is the actual Webman configuration. So you can give access control to some people who want access to your server or to make changes. What this actually helps out is that instead of making changes based on the web command, I'm sorry, the command line, which can cause errors if you don't know what you're doing. This module here gives you an op option of making changes without being as dangerous as making the changes on the command line itself and of course we're going to get into the command line a little bit later but if you have installed if you already installed your PBX in a flash module please feel free to look at the actual webman portion of it because there's a lot of things that you can do with the webman portion if you look at some of the modules on the left hand side here I'm going to expand a few of these fields here just to show you just give you an in-depth feel of what this type of web interface can do uh, once you look at a lot of these fields you definitely want to do some research about webmen also do some research about which field and how they actually impact your PBX but this is definitely a good start to make necessary and administrative changes to the actual server itself not just asterisks but the actual server itself and on that note i will see you guys next week